Hey everybody, this is Graven again. Hey, I'm just uh, showing off my new uh, saber that I did, I customized. This is an Anakin Attack of the Clone. This was a MRFX that I completely gutted um, and put in a blade holder, a Scion LED, a Cyan LED, and a regular MR card battery holder and still kept the speaker and all that stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you real quick. This is the Sabre and I'm kind of doing up close here. You can see it's got all the same stuff. Everybody's kind of familiar with these. Still the twist lock open with the screw right there that would uh, use to open up and expand. Um, then you can see I still got the speaker grill everything that's still functional it runs off of four AA batteries and uh, I'm going to turn it on right now and see it's real bright kind of see a little bit eh, you can't really in the light but a little bit of light shines out there's the blade retention screw right there so I'm going to put the blade in Go. Zoom out some. There we go. And it is bright. It's actually uh, one of my brightest ones now. Nice saver. I really like this one. This is one that I've been wanting for a long time, and no, I'm not selling it. Uh, I'm going to put that right here and I'm going to compare it. This is also a 2003, one of the first Darth Vader's that came in. I think it was 2003 uh, Darth Vader's that I converted. Also the switch is up top here. And a nice red amber blade. I converted this also. Still got the speaker in it. Um, love this saber as well. And I'm just posting this so you can see the size. The size is... And then also, uh, just for a size comparison, this is a uh, Graflex uh, that I have my ultrasound in, my ultrasound one in, and um, this is a good indication for size here to show you that it's a that Anakin is a big that's a that's a big lightsaber. So uh, here we go. Let's see if I can turn these on here. Let's see if we can get this without some light. Oh yeah, that's a thing of beauty there. This uh, this one really puts out some light. I'm telling you. It's... Gotta say, I love that saber, the Anakin uh, Attack of the Clones. Uh, it's not that hard of a saber to do. Again, for the conversion, it was pretty easy. Um, so anybody that wants to try it, I can give you some really quick uh, tips. I used a socket from the Graflux Saber Shop. That's my blade holder. Uh, then uh, basically the, the stuff that the board came on, the speakers and all that stuff, I took it apart um, and uh, I kept the speaker, mounted it to a, uh, I used four part instead of all six batteries, I only used uh, two of them to give the three, put the sound card on top of that, epoxied that all together and then I ran a rod up through the center and what I used for the LED holder um, was the heat sink for the 1.25 uh, blade socket that Tim sells at the Custom Saber Shop. Drilled a hole right in the center of it and that's what the rod went into. So the rod mounted to the back of the uh, blade holder or the LED holder heat sink and went all the way to the speaker. Battery, sound card, and switch. Really simple to do. Not hard at all and it comes out really really nice and sturdy. I uh, love that saber. That's probably one of my favorite conversions that I ever did. So. Thanks for looking. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, this is Graven signing out.